Hey, welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 20. We're actually at this point going through the Ten Commandments. We come now this morning to commandment number five. It's Exodus 20, verse 12. Let's look at this. It's the fifth commandment out of the ten. And I'm simply going to read it here. Honor your father and your mother that your days may be prolonged in the land which the Lord your God gives you. So this is an interesting commandment. It talks about giving respect and love to your parents. Yes, you should love and respect all people, but your parents, there's a special obligation. There's a familial obligation to your parents uh, that you have. They raised you. They took care of you. They have a special responsibility to guide you towards salvation. They have a spiritual responsibility placed upon them for you if you're a son or a daughter. And so this commandment says, honor them. Honor your mother and your father. I know we're in a time when people are treated badly and old people are dropped into nursing homes to be neglected and, and waste away. And I know that's the common practice, strangely. But biblically, we're to honor our parents and not to neglect them in any way, shape, or form. Also remember that in the earliest years of life, the parents stand in the place to that child. The child can't understand the, the bigger and broader issues. The parents are sort of in the place of God, even to the, to the very small child. The child doesn't know any better. So there's a special, unique business here going on with parents and, and children. And so parents should uh, treat their children with great care. They're in the place of God, so to speak. And as later on, when the parents are aged and they need help, the children should take care, make see to it, take care of the parents, see to it that their needs are met. And I don't just mean paying for them to live in a nursing home, you know, 500 miles away. If you can do it, if there's any way you can take care of your parents in your own home and be with them in their closing years, you should do it. Uh, find how you can do it. A lot, Some people, that's simply not workable because of the different dynamics of their life situation. But this should be a, a last case thing that we do something else. This should be the first thing is that we treat our parents with honor and dignity and kindness and respect. We should aid and comfort our parents in their aging years. We should try to lighten their load and find ways we can help them out. Think of the time that they helped you when you were a helpless child and realize that you can help them. You can help them bring in the firewood. You can help them with their medicines or their appointments or whatever it is. And I know people are scattered today from their parents, but that's a weird thing. Historically, uh, families stayed together perhaps for several generations in the same dwelling. And a lot of us don't have that today. So if you're neglecting your aged parents, um, call them up right now. Call them today. Say hello. Plan a visit. Uh, even if they're hundreds of miles away or something, plan to spend more time with them. Maybe you could even work it out that they can live with you in their uh, golden years. So some thoughts here on the fifth of the Ten Commandments. Right near the center, we have these uh, commandments. Now remember, the first four tend to be man's relation to God, and the last six tend to be man's relation to man. And there's sort of an overlap here, but we're in that second portion now of the commandments where we're dealing with man's relation to his fellow man. Your relation, uh, parents and children, we've talked about that right here today with commandment number five right at the hinge, the hinge between these first four and the last six, the ones that deal with relation to God and with man. We're on that hinge today and we're finishing number five. All right, we'll see you tomorrow morning as we'll go onward into the Ten Commandments.